Hello everyone, from New Zealand, the provinces of Canada, all the way to the Philippines, and all around the world, I'm here to welcome you to the 10th episode of Spooky Saturday with your narrator, Paranormal Poet. To those who are new here, I will be narrating a true, user-submitted, scary story. I do these every Saturday, so if you enjoy it, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Now let's begin this bizarre story. Story 10. Over the Valley. Hello, paranormal poet. My name is Ethan, and I will be the first to admit I was hesitant on telling you this story. But your compassion toward me when we met gave me the comfort of knowing you would listen to this experience and not judge or criticize me. To call a dog a dog, I saw a UFO in one of the most notorious places to see them. New Mexico, specifically the Magdalena Mountains. As a teen, hearing about Roswell truly was fascinating to me. From that day, I constantly looked up into the sky when I could, in case I ever truly saw one. April 24th, 2022, I got my wish, but it was intense. I went camping in the Magdalena Mountains with a group of friends. This wasn't your traditional outing with three or four friends. There were eight, plus four supervisors. Think of it as a retreat. Anyway, we all went to our tents for the night, as 10 p.m. was lights out. I, for some reason, couldn't sleep that night. Something was keeping me up. Before I could fully fall asleep, my body decided it needed to be relieved. Annoyed, I opened my eyes, got out of my tent on the nearest tree. After I was done relieving myself, in my peripheral vision, I saw a bright light. Well, many bright lights, four to be exact. I turned to get a look at it, and I saw the lights were attached to one solid platform, which seemed to be in the shape of an arrowhead. It was hovering over the valley, which our campsites was overlooking, I didn't hear any sound coming from it, but I felt a strange hum. My whole body reacted to this vibration which got stronger the more I focused on it. Whatever it was, it didn't look to be military. It was bizarre and almost incomprehensible, but I saw this thing with my own eyes. After 10 seconds of the craft surveying the land, it did something I know a military aircraft is incapable of. It took off into the sky, but at a speed that was just too fast, near speed of light. By this point, the vibration I was feeling stopped, but the questions began. The next morning, I went to one of the adult supervisors and told him about what I encountered last night, and his face was shocked, but not in a sarcastic way, in a way where you could tell he'd experienced the same UFO before. He told me, don't think too much on it. Even now, being older, I still hear those words replaying in my head. Because he didn't deny what I saw. He acknowledged what I saw could have dire effects if I kept thinking about it too much. Either way, I know what I saw and felt that night. I definitely saw a UFO. Advice for your audience. If you're ever looking for UFOs, and choose to look up into the sky? Watch closely for its light. It may have already begun watching you. Be sure to subscribe for more narrated content. This has been your narrator, Paranormal Poet.